What up, gamers? How's it going? I'm Dead Night Leo, Dead by Daylight, and Fortnite content creator and uh, streamer. You can catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Dead Night Leo, uh, Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific time. And I do subathons starting at 11 a.m. every Saturday. And just we keep on going until you get to start the clock. Uh, runs out that that'll be up to you guys, but that's ha that happens on Saturdays at 11 a.m. Pacific time um, In the meantime what I do on YouTube is just like check out content Obviously I upload some of the gameplays that I have on Dead by Daylight when I stream again on twitch.tv forward slash Dead by Leo I know shameless plugs. What's up? Yeah, anyway, so uh, I do all that and then I do also some reactions to uh, What other contents may uh, on no way oh, uh, to what other creators have made um, one of them being Spooky Loops because this guy is a legend and dude uh, well he's actually the one who inspired me to become a Dead by Daylight content creator uh, I may have stated that one too many times already but I don't get tired of saying it because it's the absolute truth guy is a legend so um, in the spirit of uh, the new updates Spooky Loops has talked about the one particular thing that uh, I, I think we are somewhat happy and not happy at the same time that I got nerfed to death, which is uh, Dead Heart. Yeah, Dead Heart. Um, you know, the the survivor's crutch, the killer's vein, and all that stuff. Anyway, so. Mm. Ah, good tea. Ah, good tea. Anyway. <laughs> So if you're a killer main, you're definitely gonna have a hard time um, not laughing at survivors. I get it. Like if you're a killer main, you're besides yourself. You're enjoying life because of the fact that that heart is practically gone. I mean, not a lot of people are running it, and if they are running something somewhat similar to Death Heart, it will be off the record. I've seen it happen already. Um, not as often as I think it should be, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Now. Occasionally, there are, however, uh, some dead heart players because they just they want the crutch. Okay, they they want to have their crutches back, and they feel as though they cannot function without them. And I understand that, which is why I never ran that hard. <laughs> I tried. I was. I, I tried, um, but I, I'm, all, I'm. I don't know. I'm just awful with the timing of it, so I can't use it to the, to the best of its ability. However. Um, I keep forgetting that I never ran the vertical. So um, that being said, I I get it. Uh, some people do need it. I personally cannot. Uh, I run other perks like Lithe, for instance. I'm a, I'm a big Lithe user. I love Lithe. And I don't think Lithe will ever get uh, nerfed because uh, it, it just it gets overlooked. It's not that it's not good. It just gets overlooked. So that's an advantage that I have. <laughs> Me look, looking at perks that... You know, people just don't look at. It. They don't think they're serious threats. Uh, however, uh, there are people out there who still depend, or they want to still depend on the dead heart perk, even though it is practically useless. Um, or the conditions that it has can be provided by a better perk. Uh, that means that meets the same requirement. I'm talking about off the record. You know, off the record gives you 80 seconds of iron will, and you don't leave any blood marks or stains for that long a time. And don't make any noises, you know. Um, and yes, you get endurance uh, for like 10 seconds, um, so you have no control over like when to activate the endurance. But even then, it's like you get 80 whole seconds of abs absolute just, I want to say like stealth, so you can go heal, go hide, go go do a gen, without worrying about whether or not you're gonna get caught by the by the killer again. But you know, there are the occasional overlookers, and Spooky Loops is talking about this today. I am. I haven't seen the video yet. I just, I just rely on the title right now. Um, you know, so we're gonna watch this video together and see where, uh, where it leads us. And if you get a chance, subscribe to uh, Spooky Loops channel. Link is gonna be in the description. And um, yeah, let, let's let, let's watch. Let's see what what the legend Spooky Loops has to say about this. What is up, YouTube? It's Spooky Loops, and I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Oh my, my friends, there are three things that are for certain. Solo Q sucks, Dead Heart is nerfed, and we're almost to 500,000 subscribers. Oh, you shouldn't have. But the most recent patch of Dead by Daylight... He's not wrong about one thing, though. I, I think he's actually freaking right. Like, Solo Q sucks. Even with, like, all the new things that Solo Q gets to have more information in in a match like all the <clears throat> the huds and the 
the visual aid for Terra Radius now. Uh, you know the heart, you know the heart beat, whatever. Um, <laughs> like even with all that, like it's still like solo queue is it's a freaking nightmare, and I keep insisting it, it isn't because of the it's not because of the game itself. It's it's the player base. It's literally the player race. <laughs> and I think, like, right about now, I'm, I'm just about right to give up on the fact that, like, players are going to make an effort to, you know, improve the community so that the game itself can be improved because of the player base. Because I think developers are doing all they can on their end. And, well, you know, I, I think they're trying their best. But at the end of the day, like, you can make, like, perfect improvements. It means nothing if the community doesn't make an effort to improve themselves. So... There's that going on too. Right, Behavior reworked one of the most popular survivor perks in the game again. And that perk, of course, is Dead Hard. Dead Hard now only becomes active after you've been unhooked or by unhooking yourself, limiting its usage to only twice per game, if you're lucky. With Dead Hard in the shitter, perks like Sprint Burst and Light are becoming the way. But I have a build that not only incorporates new Dead Hard, but is incredibly fun. And I'm going to show you that right now. My first perk is Smash Hit. I'm not drunk, I swear. Oh After stunning a killer with a pallet, I break into a sprint at 150% oh for 4 seconds and become exhausted, while also simultaneously proccing my second perk, Parental Guidance. By stunning a killer by any means, I lose all scratch marks, pulls of blood, and grunts of pain for 7 seconds. These two together make for an evil combo for evading. Up next is Deliverance. After I safely unhook a teammate, the next time I become hooked, I'll be able to unhook myself, allowing my team to stay on gents. And let's face it, we've all been there. Like this video if you've ever been left on a hook in solo queue. Since I'm unhooking myself without relying on others, I'll officially act- I've been left on a hook in solo queue, so, uh, click? <laughs> Light. <laughs> I've been left on a hook on solo queue way too many times. I don't want to talk about it, but it, it is so true. Fucking sucks. I actually I made a comment on, a, on somebody else's stream. He sent me sell out Sue's link is gonna be in the description. Please go follow him on Twitch. Um, and I said like, better better to be left on the hook. No, no, it's like better to be left on hook than to be left on red or something like that. I it was something on, along the lines of that. It was pretty. It was it was a pretty good line. I gotta say, like it was either better be left on hook than be left on red, or like I'd rather be left on hook than be left on red. Somewhere along the lines of that, but like the point is, I did that. Okay, so I appreciate the joke and go follow my friends a lot on Twitch. And don't forget to like um, Spooky Loops video and don't forget to like this video and let's keep going. Activate the new reworked Dead Hard. By having dual exhaustion perks, especially with Dead Hard, I'll be able to adjust to any situation accordingly going forward. In the event of you wanting to try this build and either not having the first two perks or simply not a fan of pallet stuns, then life paired with Dance with Me is a fantastic alternate. Okay, let's jump into the wild world of Silver Q. Okay, we're on Wrecker's Yard, and I am in solo queue. Buckets of fun. Oh, God. All right, good sir. Here we go. I was found first, unfortunately, and here we are. Uh-huh. There we go. He's still with me. So my plan here, hopefully, is to get a nice little stun here with Smash Hit. And then zoom all the way around back to where he was. Because all my scratch marks and grunts of pain and all the things like that are gone completely. <laughs> all right, Leon's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. All right, that's going to be the first down for Wesker here. Hopefully, I should be able to finish this up. I am uh, recover from exhaustion. But I have to be very careful with this. I'm going to walk over here. Try to grab this save. Nice kindred's pog here. All right, now as long as Leon doesn't run right back into his loving arms, we should be, uh, we should be good to go. Nice. Still with us? Okay. Got a nice little window here. Perfect. Not even close. Tap the gin. Let's do a little, uh, I don't know how I'm alive type thing. Now with Wesker, obviously you want to hold the tightest angles possible. Makes it incredibly hard to really bound, right? Maybe we can send him to the window. Let's try. I'll go through the window. <laughs> nice. Right, so far so good. Lovely. All right, a little bit close there. I'm gonna re -vault back in. And re -vault right back out. All right, looks like he caught onto us on that one. Oh, here we are. Remember, Smash Hit is still up. I 
I don't know why, but like I feel like by watching Spooky Loops do some shit that I will never think about, I, I come up with like strategies of my own. So hear me out on this one. I, I think I understand what's happening. So, you know, smash hits causes exhaustion. So like what would be the point of having two exhaust perks, right? Except the condition for this one particular perk, Dead Heart, right now, the condition for it is that it can only be activated after you're unhooked. And if I could re if I remember this correctly, like once you get off the hook, the exhaustion pretty much is reset. So, technically speaking, once you get off the hook, you get this for free. So, basically, you can you can run two exhaustion perks. One that you can do, like while, you know, while you're like out in chase doing gens, whatever. Like basically, like a you can do like a what I would say is a, a pre-exhaustion perk. Like it, it's the it's the perk you use before you actually like run into your crutch that hard. So then you'll be running I don't know anything head on smash head light whatever and you do this pretty much on the first round of the game before um you know you get hooked then you go into the hook and then dead heart gets activated once you get unhooked so then basically you can now go in between like whatever exhaustion perk you had at the beginning of the game the pre-exhaustion let's just call it that and then you go into your actual exhaustion like let's just go like oh you know what like not pre-exhaustion let's just call it this like like the pre-crutch and then the actual crutch so you go from like pre-crutch you know whichever it could be like smash hit life uh head on whatever and then you go into crutch mode which is uh dead hard and at that point like it just becomes a viable solution like and the reason being is that if you are exhausted from the fir the pre crutch, it get the exhaustion disappears on hook. You get unhooked, and then that heart gets activated. So now you have a choice, and you can go in between the two. That that is actually pretty genius. Uh, he's still honest though. He's still honest though. Double back this way. Nicely done. So all three of my teammates are on gents, which is fine. But now we're going to be able to do something a little bit different. I have deliverance activated, so I'm going to be able to get myself off of this hook and then unlock dead hard. See that? See that? I, I just, I was right. I was right. So he basically just got hooked. Exhaustion from smash hit disappeared, which now reactivates smash hit. But now when he gets off the hook because of deliverance, he'll have both smash hit and dead hard. So he went from having a pre-crutch to having a crutch. And basically now he has a full set of crutches. He can choose between the two. He can go either or, and he'll be perfectly fine. That is that is nasty. That is actually a <coughs> excuse me. That is actually a good way to um, run Dead Heart. I, I, you will think Dead Heart is dead, but I don't like this. I don't think it will be. I don't think it will be. <laughs> In fact, it might just be deadlier. <laughs> it might be more fun to run Dead Heart this way. Ooh, this is this is getting interesting. Let's keep watching. My golf. TV, keep him busy. Let him get a little right out of there, and then we'll pour some off right now. We don't want our teammates to go interrupted, right? You back on us? It sure is. All right, I am full Ouroboro though, almost. Oh, I almost ran into that. Oh shit. Massive swing. Go into his body. We're going to go to Revolt out of the window again. All right, he's no longer on us. Nice. It's time to go get a vaccine. All right, just like that. Nice. All right, no more Oro Borrowed. It looks like we're most likely going to get another gen here. I want to I want to pull aggro again. There we go. Follow the big red jacket. Nice vault. Lovely. Let's see if I can get him with a nice fake at the window. We use Dead Hard there. Nice. And I'll out that window again. Okay, so that might that may have been for display purposes, but just to like showcase the fact that you can use that heart, but the point still stands the same. Like at that point he could have just like dropped the pallet, go for smash hit, or in this case just took the hit, went for dead heart. Like now he has a choice as to like what exhaustion perk he can use. Cause he can go either or and the crutches still work. Like he basically just have a crutch like well. A crutches build, actually. <laughs> I was gonna say crutch build, but I'm like, mm, I don't think that's what you want to say. So I didn't say it like that. I didn't say it like that. But he has crutches in this build. He has dead heart and smash hit. 
So now it's just a matter of waiting out 40 seconds and then once again decide like which one do you want to go for based on the, you know, the situation in which you may find yourself into. But at the end of the day, what really counts here is the fact that in the beginning when you run, you know, at the start of the game you have a pre-crutch. You know, you, you just have like whatever, like again, anything. And then you get hooked, it doesn't matter how exhausted you are, that exhaustion will disappear once you're on hook. You get off the hook, whether it's like deliverance or anything else, um, or like some survivor just like, uh, you know, picks you out of the hook. And then the exhaustion disappears, dead heart, get, dead heart gets set, and you can take over. That is freaking madness, man. Madness. I'm going to run this today on stream. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Perfect. Still with us? He's still with us. Cool. All right, TL wall, this should be fun. Nice double back. All right, looks like he's uh, looks like he's gone. Nice. And one of the biggest nerfs to Dead Heart is you can only use it once per hook stay, right? So what that pretty much means now is I can only use it until I get uh, again when I get hooked, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Wait, 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 what do you mean? I did not read that stipulation on the, I, I haven't touched that hard at all, especially since the, the new uh, update came up, I haven't even looked at it, but what do you mean you can only use it once? <laughs> until, and uh, until the next time you get hooked. What? Oh, brother. So basically right now he's fucked. Because if you're going to use this crutch, if you're going to use that hard as a crutch, you got to time it perfectly. Like, you got to, like, be on your best A game. You got to be an S-tier player to be able to, like, determine whether or not you're going to use that hard at the best possible time. That could be, like, a game-changing moment. Oh, no. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of work, man. That's a lot of... Oh. I could never. I could never. Never mind. I, I'm. <laughs> I don't have the type of patience. I'm not the type of player, man. Like I, I will one thousand percent. Will rather one thousand times run off the record than I will run dead hard. There is no. I don't have the type of time. As a matter of fact, now that I think about it, look. I, I get it. You know, I'm all for parental guidance. Smash hit because like it makes perfect perfect sense. Like it's a good combination here. But at the end of the day, like if the idea is to like, I don't know. Use this parental guidance in combination of dead heart. I'm saying right now, you're better off using off the record. 1000% all the way. You're better off using off the record because th this is just seems like a waste of space. If this is the idea, this is a waste of space. Oh my god, that is painful to watch. Never mind. Oh man, I, I and I thought you know, like I thought like things were looking to look up for that heart, um, in you know, with this video, but <laughs> now that I heard that statement where uh, you just you can't use it again until you get hooked once more. Oh no, you! I would, I would never, I would never. But anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Nice. Okay, another gen. Huge. He's running this tile completely backwards. You don't want to run it on the outside. You want to go on the inside. Got one more vault on these windows, and they're gonna block. All right, there's one block, and this could be a third. All right, now we gotta leave entirely. All right, he's, he's charging Verlin Bound. Probably has both dashes now. I'm gonna reball here. All right, so far so good. I have another vault. Insane. Okay, good. It looks like I think we lost him. Oh, he's back. Okay. Why are you running? He's back. Oh no. Oh, we all we all saw, we all thought the same thing. No, 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 no. We all thought the same thing. We we all saw this. Not not that part. We all saw that. <laughs> this is like, oh man, like what what is the quality that always looks this shitty? Hold on, let me let me just change that. 480. What the fuck is this? All right, so we all saw that. <clears throat> yeah, we all saw this part. <laughs> Excuse me. Holy shit. We all saw this part, and we all thought like. Yo, bro, like, he AFK, he's about to DC. Like, he's gonna DC, right? Like, we never thought, like, this dude was gonna make a break for it. Like, I, I, I thought he was done. Like, because look at this, look at, look, look at this. Like, four gens already popped. 
then <clears throat> he's only hooked three people once, and the Jeff's still standing. So at that point, I mean, like I wouldn't blame that Wesker for DCing if I was if I was him. <laughs> but <laughs> but he just pulled the lizard tactic. <clears throat> That's what I call it. Like you know where like this like lizards play dead and then just go Pokemon stick and they just like turn around real quick and flip on you and then attack you. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm the only one that has ever... Like, if you tell me right now that was the only one, that I'm the only one that's ever happened to, like, you're lying. You need to, like, go explore the desert sometime. Seriously, go. All right? Just, you know, take water with you. Lots of water. And mustard. Take mustard with you. You don't want to catch a cramp. So, there's that, okay? Let's keep going. <laughs> My golf. Oh, he's back. Okay. <laughs> he's back. Oh, no. Damn it! I thought he went AFK. Well, that's what I get. All right. All of our teammates are on, uh, I think, the same gen. Well, it looks like I made a friend. Hopefully someone can come save me. That'd be awesome. Now, when I come off this hook, I'm going to have a couple of different options. We're going to have Smash Hit available, and I'm also going to have Dead Art. Which is huge. I'd rather take the hit there, so no, I'm in deep wounds. I can no longer use Dead Heart. That's okay. We're able to use it once, and that door is open, baby. Am I gone? Knowing me, I would have, I would have gone for a smash hit. I, I would have gone for for a smash hit because I would have just taken advantage of the stun, make a break for it, and then help my teammates out. You know, gain gain a little bit of distance. Uh, by using that smash hit. I, I know like the, the effect is somewhat similar, you know, like he got the hit, but then, you know, uh, you got the breakout from Dead Heart, and like, I don't know why, but like the killers get that annoying cooldown whenever they hit somebody, and I get it, like that also has a similar effect, but I, there is something about like just doing the pallet stun that like it seems actually affect the player, like at an actual visual level, like it just like really, it feels like they they simultaneously get the stun. So when you stun the, the the character, like if you stun the Wesker, like the player on you know behind <clears throat> behind Wesker controlling him, he like I don't know why like the player gets also like a little bit of that stun effect themselves. So then you know, they have to like actually recuperate and recover and figure out like oh like wait let me get my, let me get my bearings back. Where, where am I? What am I doing? Like who am I chasing? It happens a lot more often than people think. Uh, it happens a lot more. It happens to me uh, whenever I play killer. Don't tell, them, don't tell me I'm the only one. That's a lie. Okay? If you're saying that in the comments right now, you're lying. All right? So, um, yeah, that that was interesting. I mean, I, again, knowing me, I would have gone for a smash hit. Um, not that hard. And like I said, I don't think I will ever go for that hard. You know what else would have been a good choice? I, again, I, I still stand by off the record. Like, if that condition would have, that condition would have been so good with off the record. So he would have gotten up off the hook. Off the record hits with endurance, and then, say for some odd reason, Wesker is about to catch up to him. You get, <laughs> you have a smash hit ready to go to drop that pallet and just bounce right out. You gain so much distance from that. Like, that that would be my choice. In my personal opinion, I will not play um, Death Heart. I will be playing off the record. That That is my personal opinion. That's what I would choose to do. But, you know, everybody's different. So, I, being that I didn't use Death Heart, I'm not exhausted. Nice. Here we go. We should be home free now. All right. Yeah, I don't know why we're just running in place here, but that works out. Oh, dying light only means one thing. It's a goddamn Michael Myers, bro. Fuck, that scared the shit out of me, dude. Okay. All right. Surely we win this chase, right? All right. There we go. There we go. Brittle guidance. Brittle guidance, baby. We down to the hole. All right, walk it off. Oh, okay. Well, I think I shit my pants. Oh, yeah, he's back. Okay. Hi, dude. No. Oh, my God. I'm doing it again. Okay, here we go. 
All right, lose the scratch mark somehow. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Nothing says I am terrified more than seeing a tier 3 Myers just like run for you. Like, that smash hit just came as a blessing. I can't believe he just got away with it twice, though. And with barely dropping any pallets, too. What the hell, man? That guy is good. I'm telling you, Spooky Loops is a legend. Subscribe to his channel. <laughs> Link is in the description. My golf. Oh my fucking sweet god. He's got a screwdriver, dude. That was incredibly frightening. Alright, I'm gonna help. Yes, I helped. Dude, that perk has saved my ass twice. Holy cow. Colonel Guidance came in clutch there. Jeez Louise. Okay, we have to get this save. Alright. Nice. Tier 3 is over. Alright, let's let him get a little... Some distance. And let's go over the pool. Nice. It's dying light, baby. As long as... Okay, as long as... At least he gets out of here safely. We're gonna be okay. All right, safe hook rescue. That means we got deliverance online. Let's go. All right, I can take I can take some heat now. Nice. Surely, surely I don't die here. I die here. I want my team to go do gents. I have deliverance. This is gonna be a okay, and then we'll be able to activate dead hard, baby. Oh, kick clip. Don't worry, I got him. I got him my back. Nice. Oh, okay, fat dead hard. Let's go. Nice. We're still in it. You know what? I'm not married to it. Sorry. Not married to it. All right, looks like he's gone. Let's get him ending. Nice. All right, cool. Oh, fuck. Oh shit! Shiver be timbers. Keep a distance. Keep a distance. Keep distance always. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm so dead. I'm like super dead. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Damn it! Hell yeah! One more left. Okay. Oh god. That was close. Dude, this jet has got so much juice on it. Can we hit the boon from here? We're in the boon. Boon, boon. No! Hey! Oh my god! Oh no. I actually feel the tension. Like, I felt the tension he felt. Like, I can only imagine how like how tense of a moment that was where it just like, please hit me on the last thing. You could just feel that dead heart, like, you could see the dead heart just like vanishing. And then on that last... That last little instance of Dead Heart, just that last ounce of it, just right there, that's what he gets to hit. Had that Myers just waited it out, if he just waited for the actual, had he known or seen the actual Dead Heart motion and just waited for the, for the animation to end, he would have nailed that hit for sure. <laughs> but here's another thing, it's like, again, it, it just seems like a lot of effort to just prove a point that, like, you know, Dead Heart is not dead when it feels like it is. Um... Because of the conditions that you have to meet. Again, I don't. I'm not gonna get tired of saying this. I, I will one thousand times much rather have off the record. You get a. You get a lot more out of it, and the conditions are the same as the ones that Dead Heart has, and the benefits of it, like the rewards that you get for actually getting unhooked, are a whole lot better than Dead Heart. Yeah, you don't get to control most of the stuff that you have on, the, like that you would with Dead Heart, which is just endurance, really. But the rest of it is just like, it's free stuff, free iron will, no scratch marks, no pools of blood, you know, for 80 seconds if you have it at level 3, it's like, come on, man, come on. Like, how do you, how, how do you turn that down? How do you turn that down? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Oh. No. Ooh. Oh my god, let's go huge! Ooh, that oh, that was a good is, save. This is a mega boon. Nice, That dude. was a good save. Well, we used two dead arts, uh, and we're kind of spent, that's all we got. Go fast altruistic healing speed on him. Circle of healing is now. Wow. It's pretty fast. Okay, there's gotta be like another gen that we can do that's not that one. Oh, I think she may be dead. Yeah, I think she's dead. He's going for the, he's going for the Omega Slug though. Nice. Alright, if we if we can outlast this evil within three, we're gonna be looking good. Nice! Ooh, GG's. Hell yeah. GG's. Yeah, I gotta be glued to pallets for uh, smash hit. No, I have no juice this beamer, dude. All right. No way, Jose. 
Damn it. Wow. That, that, that was a little chasing for one hit. Oh, no. That was a, that was a lot of chasing for one hit. I, I, oh, no. I sure at least she gets out. I have no Rip. juice in this beamer, but at least maybe I can pretend like I do. Oh, no. no. Huh? No oh, way. wow, that no worked. No fucking way. Holy shit. Hey, what awesome. an escape. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Franklin's in the wow. end. Well, my friends, that is the build that I've been running over the past couple of days. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Of course, you gotta work out the kinks here and there because... Alright, that that was a good... Okay, so that was a good demonstration of what Dead Heart is like. Uh, again, personally, I don't think I'll be running it. Uh, I will be trying this on stream, though. On... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. And uh, don't forget, I stream at 3 p.m. Pacific time. That's when I start, and it ends at 7 p.m. Pacific time. After that, it's just pretty much like it's just chatting slash video editing, and you're welcome to uh, hang out with me and, you know, have a good conversation if that's what you're into. And uh, on top of that, I hope you enjoyed these videos. Again, I do uh, I do upload uh, VODs from the previous streams where I had played my, <clears throat> my builds, uh, whether it's Survivor or Killer. And I hope you enjoy those too. And if you do, uh, just make sure to give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, check out the content that I have as well. I have plenty of it around. And <clears throat> I hope you enjoy it. Hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Peace.